Have you seen this woman? Chapter 2. Listen and Practice. One time, I saw her at Catweasel. Catweasel was a performance club in the city. Every Thursday, they did a performance night. People played music, sang, danced, read poetry. My friend wanted me to read my poetry, but I was too embarrassed. We went to watch, anyway. And then we saw her there, she was singing. She was drunk, I think, the way she sang. Maybe she had drunk a big glass of vodka. But her singing was good. She sounded sad, but the music was good. We were all so surprised to see her there. That's the strange girl from your lectures, right? said my friends. Don't call her strange, I said, but she was strange. Not in a bad way. But her singing was strange. She was singing in a different language, but I didn't know what language it was. When she finished, I could see that people didn't really know what to think about it. I clapped a lot for her, though. Afterwards, I went and talked to her. I'm surprised to see you here, I said. Why? She said, well, that was a hard question. I didn't want to say something unkind, so I said, I didn't know you sang. Oh yes, she said. I sing a lot. And why are you here? I, uh, I thought I was going to read some poetry, I said. But I was too embarrassed, embarrassed, she said. We only have a bit of time in this world. Why be embarrassed? Go and do what you want. But is this all you really want? I said. I mean, you don't have any friends. I mean, I'm your friend, but I was drunk and I was saying unkind things. But she just laughed, like I said, we don't have much time in this world. I don't want to be friends with people like your friends. They laugh about me, don't they? I like being friends with dogs, actually. They're nicer than people. I didn't want to be your friend, but you talk to me a lot so I decided it was okay. I was very surprised. I had thought she liked me a lot, because I was one of her only friends. But I wasn't that important to her. That was the last time I saw her. Well, you know what happened. One day she was there, the next day she was gone. Maybe when she said we don't have much time in this world, she knew she was going to go. But where? The police looked everywhere. She wasn't in the university, or in town. She wasn't at home, or at a friend's house. She had no boyfriend or girlfriend, and her family hadn't seen her for years. They did find one thing, though. In her house, there was a note. It said, God doesn't love me. I know that. But they love me. I know that they do. And they're much better friends than all of you. Actually, they're better friends than dogs, but don't tell the dogs that. I wanted to introduce you to them, but they don't think you're the right kind of person. Sorry. You probably have too many friends. They like people who don't have a lot of friends, 
Have a good life, anyway. I'm going to have a very long and happy life. You'll die long before me, but that's okay. People in this world might think my singing is a bit strange, but they love it. Have a donut, if you want. Next to the note, there were hundreds of donuts. They were all the donuts she'd been given by the Christian society. Every week, she put them in her bag. I thought she ate them at lunch, but she didn't. She took them all home. The police didn't understand her message. I also didn't really understand it. I didn't want to understand it. I think sometimes it's better not to understand things, like if God is real or not, but sometimes, at night, I look at the sky and think of her, the end.